Hey, it's your guy Tyrell back with the interviews. Is Uruguay gonna win Group A? When you look at it, Egypt, Saudi Arabia, Russia shouldn't cause them any problems, but they're gonna need Cavani and Suarez to get the job done. But what else is there about Uruguay? There are other key elements to the side that make them great and could see them make a deep run in the World Cup. And here are the interviews we've got you covered. So on this edition of the interviews, we're gonna break down whether Uruguay can go all the way at this summer's World Cup. Well, we discuss Uruguay, we're discussing a team that should win Group A. You look at their history, you look at the star players. They should be better than Russia. They should get the job done against Saudi Arabia and they should get past Egypt. But we have to look past Suarez and Cavani. Yes, they are the headliners. Yes, Tabarez has been there since 2006. But what could Uruguay do now? They're renowned for being defensive minded. They're renowned for being gritty. They're renowned for relying on their stars. But this team looks to be different. It does have the base of a defensive side at center back. When we look at the board, we expect them to be in a 4-4-2. Godin and Jimenez lead that defense at center back. They also lead that Atletico Madrid backline, who is arguably the best defensive side in the club game. So you have to put that into some stock. They will be there attacking balls, making last-ditch tackles, tackles, making blocks. They are the real deal. But when we look at what's behind Suarez and Cavani, they have a good base there. This Uruguay side, a great combination of youth and experience. They are going to be a ball-playing side in this tournament, and they could go a distance if they get that front two going and if the midfield can deliver. We look at the midfield, they have the wide players that we expect to come in and be narrow. In Nandez, who could be an additional midfielder if they play a 4-5-1. And Dia Rochetta, who is more of a playmaker but will tuck in from the left. They do combine with Suarez and Cavani. We know Cavani likes to drop in deep and he can be an outlet for the midfield when needed. We know Suarez likes to drop in as well and pull defenders into him where they could foul him. And Suarez has been more of a playmaker. At Barcelona, he plays up front. He plays off the line. He plays with his back to goal. He's more of a natural uh target man up front here he could drop deep he has the creativity that all-around game that we saw in his final days at Liverpool what he likes to do is he likes to get on the ball he likes to encourage those runners forward and behind him and it allows Cavani to get into the box Cavani's main threat the near post on corner kicks and on crosses. When they get the fullbacks wider and Lagzalt and Varela, who we think will start at fullback, energetic, athletic fullbacks that like to get forward could cover the ground. When they deliver cross into the box, Cavani will be looking to get added at the near post. He'll be looking to find tap-ins. He finds space in the box and he will make you pay. He's a legitimate goal scorer. So is Suarez, arguably the best attack in the tournament. World beaters, world class players that can deliver on the day so, uh, we know Cavani has that label on him that he doesn't deliver in the clutch moments but what better time to do it than at the World Cup but that's where they could get from Suarez in that sense if not we've seen Suarez play off the last man spin the last man drive into the channels play on the play on the last shoulder break him behind he does it all and with Cavani there they have a good base if one drops off one breaks into the box if Suarez spins off Cavani breaks in the box. If Cavani drops off, Suarez could do the same thing. They are just devastating. Then we look at the midfield. Vecino, Bentacur, pride in Italy. We look at Vecino who likes to drop deep. He has the passing range to deliver cross, to deliver balls, diagonal balls into the channels for the fullbacks to get forward for Suarez and Cavani to spin out into those zones. We know how versatile they are and they can pick up any, they can occupy any space on the pitch and be a threat. So they'll be looking for that. And they have Bentancur, who is the standout. He plays for Juventus. If you don't know him, you will know him at this tournament because he is going to deliver. He is a key player for this side. He can drop deep, but he also can break in between the lines. He likes to charge forward. He likes to get into the attack. But more importantly for Uruguay, as great as their attack may be, defensive-mindedly, they are still stellar. They drop into two banks of four. They keep it very narrow. The fullbacks get narrow as well. 
well. They could push the line a bit higher to ensure that no space is found between the lines. And you have Suarez and Cavani who also can do a job without the ball. They work hard without the ball and that is pivotal to what Uruguay are going to do. If Suarez and Cavani, one of them were to get injured, they could move to a 4-5-1. They could bring on an additional midfielder. We've seen Torreira. We've seen Sanchez. Sanchez is more of a, di a direct player who likes to, he can get into a tackle and drive forward. They also have Gaston Ramirez, not a player that is more of a systems player, but he can come on as a late sub to possibly save a game. They have Stuani if they want to play another attacker or Maxi Gomez and if they really wanted to add on another midfielder they could bring on MLS's Nico Ladero if he's fit to play and that that could help Uruguay really get over the hump they have players that could come in and fill the roles for the midfield zones and if they want to play a 4 or 5 one they could throw in an additional midfielder the problem there is they do lack a goal scoring threat without Suarez and Cavani both there because then it seems a bit too reliant on one player but if they have both of them there in that 4-4-2 they look like the real deal. They should win this group and they have the team built in terms of experience, a balance of youth. They could defend well. They have legitimate goal scorers and game winners that you wouldn't want to face in the knockout rounds. But let me know what you guys think. Meet me in the comments below. Don't forget I upload videos every day and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And that was your daily dose of the interviews.